I am so sorry for how I sound. There's nothing you or I can do about it at the moment. But on the bright side, at least this video is going to be short and sweet. In the same way this past month was short and sweet. Yes, we are at the ass out end of February. And even though it is past Valentine's Day to the point where even the post chocolate sales are over, it is still the month of love. And because of that, I'm going to make the only bug that I can really think of at the time being that could emulate this time of love. And that is the ladybug. So as you can see, we have started by, you know, making the tin foil base, covering it with clay, making it smooth. And now I am just going to make the middle section, which is called whatever name I put in here. And I must say, this is like the simplest bug I will ever make. I don't even put legs on them. And ladybugs are just such a simple form. They're just round and dome shaped and just sweet. They have, um, Oh, I should know this. Let me look it up so I don't sound inept. Fuck. It was a thorax. And I was going to say that, but I was too pussy too because I was afraid of getting it wrong. But anyways, I'm making the thorax. And I basically made the head by just carving it out of the thorax. And now I'm going to make the eyes. But the thing is, this is the first method of making the ladybugs. I made like two ladybugs this way. Because it turns out that a ladybug face is more snatched than plump than I really thought it was going to be. So I have to account for that. But here, making the seam, that was a good idea. I carved it out and then I rolled it back together so it looks really thin. So now, after we scrapped that first uh, method, we're on to the second method. This is where I make it a little more snatched, right? So I put in the eye holes, I give the head its own separate piece of clay, and then I take the end of this little tool and I just kind of like push it in, as you can see, to give them like cheekbones you know what i'm saying but it turns out those quote-unquote cheekbones they're just like hollow parts of the head of the ladybug i'm making the mouth right now and it looks sus i'm very sorry about that but the hollow parts of the ladybug are really to keep the antenna because if you look at a ladybug from the top view down you can't it just looks perfectly round like you can't really see the antenna so that's what i was trying to emulate here and um this antenna method took a lot of trial and error but this is what it came out to you just roll it out place it on stamp it just a little bit and yeah from there it looks pretty hunky dory i'd say oh snatch adorable and then this is a fatal mistake i made with a centipede moth i was gonna make it again i put the things in before i baked them and look at how pretty they look. Oh, they're so sweet. Oh, they're so small. I kind of want to crush them. Oh, I just want to hold them in my hand and... But I won't, I won't, I won't do that. I won't do that. But yeah, as I was saying, because it's such a simple form, I didn't even give them legs. I ended up making seven of them. So variety pack. I thought that was really cool. And I started off with actually the most complicated of the ladybugs that I chose, which is actually the 20 spotted ladybug and arguably like the prettiest, I think. And you know, one thing about the eye spotted uh, ladybug, it's one of the ones that lives in both USA and Canada. And this one just gives like the most Canadian vibes of any of the ladybugs. I don't know how to explain it, but it just gives like, you know, they're just talking and then all of a sudden they say, oh, boot. And you're like, oh, fuck. But I kind of feathered it with the paint job. So, because if you look at the paint, the ladybug, it has like this, this feathery design in the paint job, if that makes sense. Like the outer layers of the white part of the spots, this kind of feather. I feel like you know, I'm over explaining. You get what I'm trying to say. But yes, I think this one is just gorgeous. Look at that. And it's, if you ever see a bug that looks like it has an intimidating paint job like this one it's the eye spot it looks like eyes like a fuck ton of eyes it's to ward off um predators basically and that's the same thing with this ladybug because i can tell you if i was like a dragonfly i and i saw this one i would just fuck off i'd be like you know what yeah it's all right if i was a dragonfly 
can tell you I'd eat this next one that I'm gonna paint, which is very, very similar to this one, but just like less intimidating. You know what I'm saying? Which is the bum 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 three banded ladybug. That's all we're doing right now. It basically has the same exact color scheme as the uh eye spotted ladybug, if I may say so myself. I would say that the orange I use is just like slightly darker the like creamy orange i use is just like slightly darker but yeah this one this one just still looks canadian you know what i'm saying this one also looks canadian it looks like the i don't know i don't know if it would be the older sister or the younger sister of the eye spotted but they're definitely like you know live in the same house you know their parents aren't divorced they live in a nuclear family and if I was a dragonfly and was flying, yeah, I'd go for this one. This one looks mad approachable, which I don't know. You can disagree with me, you know, because it's still the paint job still looks intimidating. But this one looks mad approachable, you know, I know I say this a lot about my bugs, but this one, this one would definitely be on the debate team. No, no, this one wouldn't be on the debate team. This one would be on student council. Yeah, this one would be on student council. But now we're moving on to the next ladybug, the yellow spotted ladybug with the government name of 14 spotted ladybird. Yes, ladybird, because it's the first one that belongs to England and Wales. And I'm going to fuck up in three, two. Oh. Oh. This is why we can't get along with those pip pip period bitches for real. So I'm just going to move on, actually. So now we're at the twice stabbed ladybug. This one's also native to America and Canada. So you actually have the chance of seeing this one if you go to like a metal concert or something. This one definitely listens to metal. This one's definitely on the, you know, that type deal. Yeah. If this one was a human, it would wear spiked earrings just like me. But oh, I love them. This one is like, the bad boy of the group you know this one is definitely the mm, of the group you know you get what i'm saying i didn't describe anything there but i feel like you know what i'm trying to say anyways so the next beetle after that is the most popular beetle of all time or lady beetle of all time it is the seventh spotted lady beetle and it is the most common form of lady beetle the one you've probably seen at least once in your lifetime picked up and you know beautiful little lady yeah this one's a classic this one this one's the most popular of them all and you know here's the deal with the seven spotted ladybug the most common the one you're most used to seeing there's actually a myth surrounding it which is that if a ladybug were to fly near you or land on you or allow you to pick it up then you would have luck you know you would have luck with money or more prominently known you would have luck with love so i guess it's not a reach that i picked these for february and i hope if you find one you pick it up and have luck with love and this is the first ladybug that i decided to show you how i do the base but it's really simple uh i just painted them all black <laughs> Next up is the metallic blue ladybird. And yes, it is ladybird because it happens to live in Australia and New Zealand, which makes sense because this one will fuck your shit up. Nothing is sacred to this lady beetle. And if you see it on the street, go the other way because look at me. You're better than this. You're better than this. And this one will fuck your shit up. I mean, if you're an aphid at least. On to the last one and oh this one's the sweetest this one's the loviest of them all because look oh isn't that just adorable this one's just you know all ladybirds are technically poisonous but they're but they're harmless really really all it is is that they're quote-unquote distastefully chemical which sounds like a diss but whatever and this one just looks like the least harmless of them all. This one just looks like a little angel. And I guess it's because of the hearts. It has to be because of the hearts. And that's also why, you know what? It's not a reach that I picked ladybugs for February. Oh, look at that. I just want to crush them in my hands. But I won't, but I won't. And, you know, and this one is also versatile because it almost looks 
it almost looks like death, you know? It almost looks like bones in a way, but then you see the hearts and you're like, oh, this one wouldn't hurt a fly. It hurt an aphid, but it wouldn't hurt a fly. Ah. So this is where I would put my glazing portion of the video, which would conclude my video. If I remembered to film it, but I actually forgot somehow. So please enjoy this stock video that I got from wherever bumfuck ass corner of the internet while I make my special little announcement. Just to let you guys know, I started an Etsy shop where I can make custom ladybirds, but also custom bugs in general. So if you're interested in that, the link is in the description. No pressure, I'm just letting you guys know. Um, I appreciate you just for watching the video. I really appreciate you guys for getting me to 100 views on the last video, the centipede moth. Thank you so, so much. Uh, I have a really cool bug coming for March. Thank you for sticking by me. See you guys for the next one. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Bye.